The Berenberg Invitational kicking off today at the Glen Arbor Golf Club in Bedford Hills, New York, with some of the world's top players competing to raise funds for pancreatic cancer research. Around one and a half million dollars has been raised in the past two years. They're hoping to cross the two million dollar mark this year. One of the players, Golf Hall of Famer and former PGA champion Fred Couples, joins me now. Fred, it's good to see you. Welcome to Closing Bell. Thank you, Scott. Nice to be on. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, not the best weather, obviously, to play golf in today, but a great cause, as we said. Um, tell me a little bit more about what drew you uh, up there in New York. Well, I think, you know, I've been with Berenberg about seven or eight years now, and I've been to this every year, and we used to have one in England. Um, and Gary Player is their ambassador, and Gary and I have been lifelong friends, even though I think he's 22 or three years older. But it's a nice, nice spot to be. I, I love all the guys at Berenberg. I'm off the course right now, so it, it's okay for three holes. I'm going to miss to talk to you. But uh, uh -huh. Berenberg does a lot of things that, that I enjoy seeing. As I, I'm, I'm like an ambassador, but I'm a golfer. So I wear the hat. I go play. I do the best I can. Uh, mm -hmm. Henrik Reimer is the one who really takes care of me. He's their number one guy, and we've gotten to be great friends. And then the pancreatic cancer side of it is just amazing. And just to my right over here, when we're done playing, we're going to go in and have a dinner, and there'll be a little bit of a show and, and some song and dance. And they're going to raise so much money so fast that even I, I leave here shaking my head, Scott. Yeah, well, we wish you the best, obviously, in, in raising as much money as you can. Um, I don't think it's news to anybody. You've been one of the mo most popular players on tour um, for an awfully long time, um, you know, well before you even won the Masters in, in, in 92. So when you speak, people listen to what you have to say. And, and you've been one of the most <laughs> outspoken players, I think, about the, the live tour and the future of that relationship with the PGA Tour. I'm wondering, what, what was your first reaction when you heard of this potential deal between Live and the PGA Tour? You know, what a question. I've answered it the same every single time. Um, it affects the PGA Tour immensely, but really what affected me is how these guys leaving, not all of them, some of them, I shouldn't even say five of them, we're talking about the PGA Tour, how bad of a tour it was, how wrong it was, how they're better off playing on the Live Tour. You know, I, I've spent, this is my 43rd year in the PGA Tour. I represent it the best I can. I've played a long time. The Champions Tour, Scott, as you know, is great. But it just offended me that go play your golf. Go play in your 54-hole events. We all know that's funny to talk about. And sometimes I felt bad about what I said. But, you know, when I talk to other people, I really don't think I said anything horrific. I just reacted to what some of the guys that left said. Brooks Kepka, Dustin Johnson. I don't talk to J Dustin that much, but Brooks I've kept in touch since this Ryder Cup thing. We laugh every other day about stuff, and I, I have no qualms with 99% of the guys. It affects the tour. I'm no longer on that tour, but what it affected me is just, is just the things they had to say. Do you hope it doesn't happen? I never thought it would happen. I never thought they would get off the ground, but I guess, you know, when you have, I'm not even smart enough to figure out how many billions, you can get people to follow the money. Um, I don't know if it's going to go away, you know, again, Scott, that's a, another great question. I, I'm, I'm so old that I don't, I pay attention to every golfer that plays on the PGA Tour, but when, if it goes away, is that going to be good? I don't know if that's going to be good or not. Can we intertwine? I'm not smart enough to figure that out. Um, I'm sure they will try and do something. But we do have Brooks Kepka on the Ryder Cup team. Um, he's not really a PGA Tour player, and every player on that team wanted him. So we, we still have some, some nice feelings about the live guys. But would I want to see it go away? I, it doesn't matter to me really anymore. If their, their tour is set, they have their 48 guys. I don't think any new guys have joined in five or six months. So it is what it is.